Although the whole structure we're studying is often called the tabernacle in the Bible, we're about to discuss the design of the tabernacle proper, composed of the ten linen curtains. Called in Hebrew the Mishkan, meaning a dwelling place, it was the home of God. Let's think about the materials used. David wrote, quote, in his temple, everything speaks of his glory. Psalm 29, verse 9. There are both spiritual and practical reasons for the four different materials used as the tent-like ceiling and walls of the ark. There were two sets of curtains, the innermost of linen, and then over that, one of woven goat hair. Over these curtains were two protective coverings one of ram skin and the outermost made of some kind of leather, perhaps seal skin. Some people say the colors are arbitrary, like you selecting a palette for your house at the paint store, but nothing was optional here. God picked out the curtains. Quote, you shall make the tabernacle with 10 curtains of fine woven linen and blue, purple, and scarlet thread. With artistic designs of cherubim, you shall weave them. Exodus 26, 1. The base for the curtain was the linen. And in the true tabernacle in heaven, we see that linen speaks of righteousness. Revelation 19, verse 8. Our Savior, after he provided that righteousness for us at Calvary, was prepared for burial by Joseph, who, quote, bought fine linen and wrapped him in the linen, Mark 15, 46. These curtains displayed the beautiful secrets of God's heart. The white linen, speaking of his righteous acts with the gold cherubim as guardians of his holiness. The blue of the sun's heavenly origin and destiny. The purple of his rightful rule, majesty and power, and the scarlet, of the awful price paid to bring us home to God. The word curtain indicates that the material not only provided a cover overhead, but also draped down to be the walls. Note, the linen curtains were shorter than the goat's hair. The goat's hair curtains reached the ground, but the Mishkan appeared to hover above the earth, almost as if it had descended from heaven. In our discussion of the boards that ring the structure, we suggest that they may be more frames or ladder shaped, not only to minimize the weight while maintaining rigidity, but so the beautiful design would show on the inside. Although Aholiab and Bezalel were to construct the furniture and vessels, the making of the coverings involved gifted women. Quote, all the women who were gifted artisans spun yarn with their hands and bought what they had spun of blue, purple, and scarlet, and fine linen. Exodus 35, 25. Interesting, isn't it? Especially in light of the often ignored teaching regarding women and their coverings in the church. 1 Corinthians 11, verses 3 to 16. Willing, wise women. There were ten curtains, and yet there was also one. Quote, make fifty clasps of gold and couple the curtains together with the clasps so that it may be one tabernacle. Exodus 26, 6. What might the Israelites think about the number fifty? Every year, the whole nation was commanded to count to fifty. It was the time span between the Feast of First Fruits and Pentecost. And just as the golden clasps were provided to make it one tabernacle, so the Lord links all his people together. Here was his prayer, that they all might be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us. John 17, 21. When was the prayer answered? It's no surprise 
that from the resurrection of Christ, it was 50 days until, quote, by one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 13. When the day of Pentecost had fully come. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. 